say that talk fast. People think it's drugs. What it really is being one of six kids and learning very early in life I didn't talk fast and I didn't get hurt. That is the absolute truth. I do not do any drugs. I've been a vegetarian for 36 years. I don't need to handle my you. I'll make an exception. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Oh, that made me a vegetarian. But anyway, who I really am a vegetarian. I'm an eight eggs, but I'm pro-choice. And, um, <laughs> it's at this point of the show I have to stop and explain something here. And please understand that I never mean to be uh, misogynistic or, or demeaning to women. I always find a woman or two in the audience to play with in my mind, and I never... Uh, <laughs> Because my attitude is I put women, literally, I put them up in a, a pedestal and I feel that women grow and change in a way that men can't understand. Therefore, they can never understand completely women. But I always give the opportunity, any man in any show, to applaud if you feel like you've learned everything you've learned about women. Applaud right now. Damn. Exactly. Sound of silence. You know what? I asked that in New Mexico about two months ago and I heard this. Yeah. Translated that's, oh, well, I screwed up and I'm never getting laid again. It's impossible to learn all there is to learn about. You can't, you can't, because they keep changing. I learn something new every week, almost every day, and I'm going to share something with you I just recently learned. Now, there's a woman out there knows what I'm talking about, and I assure you there is. It's a matter of whether they'll speak up or not. But please know, I'm not making this up. And if there's a woman out there knows what I'm talking about, just yell it out. I recently learned that some women refer to their dildos as Bob. What am I talking about? All right, I'm going to hand it to you guys. You guys got it, right? Bob's an acronym. B-O-B -B stands for Battery Operated Boyfriend. Don't you think that's cool? Don't you think that's cool? Don't you think it's cool, Mr. Man, for making? I think it's great. Men should have something like that, but I can't find a woman with a name or letters that stands for any bitch stay off my back and I'll fuck up my credit. That cost me thirty thousand dollars. What's in your wallet? All right. <laughs> now you guys are married right here? Yeah. How long have you been married? Seven years. Seven years. Okay. Does he ever give you flowers? No. Really? <laughs> really? Would you like it if he gave you flowers? He did one time. He did one time. <laughs> she says, yeah, please, honey, don't hit me again. I am. <laughs> they die. Flowers die. I'm sorry, Grandma, bitch. You're going down. All right. <laughs> Die. Yeah, that's another way of saying, fuck, I ain't put no money on you, baby. <laughs> would you like if he gave you flowers? I, you know, would you like if he gave you flowers? Yeah. How come you don't give her flowers? Is it because they die and you just feel like you're wasting money? Yeah. All right, the best answer I ever got, and I'm not making any of this up, in Indiana a couple of months ago, it actually happened right down the front. The, the lady was very attractive, just like your wife, and, and the husband was sitting there, and I said, man, do you like flowers? Yeah. So, do your husband ever give you flowers? No. And her voice quivered. It really grabbed my heart, man. I said, and I was just kind of said, sir, I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but my wife's very beautiful and she looks kind of sad because you don't give her flowers. How come? I'm not making this. I'd be a little bit straight to face and go, calls neighbors don't grow none. <laughs> is that um, if you care about somebody, don't be shy. Let them know every day of your life. Flowers, champagne, walk the beach, bath, massage, cooking, poetry. Don't get lazy. You know, you, you wake up the next morning, that's your gift. That's the deal, man. I, I do what I can. I get flowers, you know, but uh, there's a reason why some guys don't get flowers other than just being cheap. I'm not in your case, but, but, but there is another reason. A lot of guys are intimidated. Ordering flowers over the phone, you have to talk to a complete stranger at the floral shop. They want to know if you put something personal on a card. Very intimidating. So I wrote something down that I actually use. And you guys can use this. It works for me and it'll work for you. Yeah, I want to order some flowers. Oh, personal. You got a pen? Good. <laughs> Write this down. <laughs> Dear darling, last night was wonderful when you leaned over with your heaving pointed breast <laughs> and unleashed my ivory monster from its temporary prison. <laughs> yeah, temporary prison is what it says, right? <laughs> While giving birth to a plethora of pleasure, <laughs> uh, I caress the inner folds of your velvetinous tunnel. T U N N E L tunnel, <laughs> which gave rise to the dynamic and bold the serpentine dance of love. P S, a man's gotta eat. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
I got married not that long ago. I, I miss my wife. I'm on the road without her, man, so I went out and bought a GPS so I could have somebody else to help tell me how to drive. Like, Woman. She doesn't believe in post-marital sex, but... Uh, <laughs>